Welcome back to the channel. We've got a great one today. Wait, did somebody say Svelte Kit? I just learned Svelte. I just learned Sapper. What is this Svelte Kit? What is this new stuff? What do you mean a new conference happened? Did they announce something brand new? Svelte was already new. Sapper just came out. Hey, don't feel like that. Don't worry, we got your back. All the latest nuances, everything coming along with Svelte Kit. Let's get started with Svelte Kit right now. Roll it. Okay, let's go ahead and install Svelte Kit. TypeScript, yes please. ES linting, of course. Prettier for code formatting? Naturally. One of the most brilliant parts about SvelteKit is that they're taking TypeScript seriously. This was a little bit of a sore point before. It had, mm, I would say, partial at best support, depending on your editor. If you're in VS Code, I think that one was first class, and it really only worked inside script blocks. NPMI, you know the drill. This is how we boot the node dev server. The extra dash dashes just tell it to pass open to the right place. Ah, here we are. Hello, world. Look at that. Seems very responsive, very quick. Let's go ahead and demo how fast Snowpack really is in the wild. Let's change the H1, hello world, hello Svelte. Saved. Look at that. Oh my gosh, it's instant. I mean, just do another one. Whoa, wow. And the best part is, I'll go ahead and add some clicks here. As we change the style, for example, just make this a little bit darker, you'll notice that the clicks stayed. This is important because as we all know, when you're developing, maybe you're three, four screens deep, three or four clicks deep into your app, Snowpack is gonna keep most of the data between the, between the refreshes and oh, it saves so much time. And at the end of the day, time as an engineer is gonna help you bring your new product to market faster. So important. So crucial. One of the other bits worth mentioning here is that unlike Webpack and some of the other bundlers out there with Snowpack, as your application grows, as you have tens, hundreds, thousands of files, the Snowpack will remain fast because it's merely sending each one of these files individually up into the browser and utilizing the browser's built-in module support. Amazing. Okay, let me show you one of my favorite bits from SvelteKit. Pre-Svelte Kit, one had to decide between going full framework, that would be Sapper, and Sapper is going to bring in that nice intelligent routing and some other good to have bits for larger projects. With Svelte Kit, you can go lightweight, just have a bunch of Svelte components. Maybe they make up their own website, maybe they're just part of another website, or get that intelligent routing built right in kind of like one size fits all with Svelte Kit. So it's really nice not to have to make that decision and to just know that it's all rolled up right here. Now, one of the key bits about Sapper was how it was so easily able to export those static renders. So how can we do that with Svelte Kit? Simple. With these three lines here, that will clue Svelte Kit into pre-render this page out to static on disk. Amazing. Further, these statically rendered pages can be mixed with dynamic pages. So it's possible to have one solution fits all where the more complicated pages have renders that start in the node server and then the static ones in the name of performance can just all be pre-rendered and edge cached in your CDN of choice all under one roof. Let's do this. npm run build. You'll notice it's transforming all the Svelte files and should give us a nice static output here. You can go ahead and open that. Okay, it's unstyled because I'm not serving it up locally, uh, but you can see that it did pre-render everything out to disk. Amazing. Now this is just getting started with Svelte node adapter. There are adapters for Vercel, formerly Next.js, Zeit, static if the entire web page must be static, and then a few others. Some of them are also a little bit in the works right now, the point is that we can keep these same Svelte components. We can just pull in that adapter static. Now we have a fully static web page. Or we can pull in the Vercel adapter and boom, now we're hosted like a Next.js project would be, only this is first class Svelte, and it's over at Vercel, or it's over at Google, or really anywhere. So nice. 
Welcome to the future, the fastest way to build apps using Spellkit for the web. Welcome back. What did you think of this new format? Drop tutorial in the comments down below and let us know to keep driving forward with this. We've got some epic topics on hot software technologies up and coming to really take you guys along the easy path on how to get started with these. Hey, until the next one, ciao.